Come on, go. Omar, get out of here. Hey, quarantine dog. Losing your mind. You losing your mind? You gotta go, go lay down. Go find a toy, go do something, go do dog stuff. Uh, ah. All right, so obviously there's a lot of shit going on. I don't even know where to start. So first, I guess the first place to start is, is I had a full vlog for you as much as I could. 15 clips. Normally vlog is like 30 to 60 clips, but I had 15 clips of me going to the art studio, cleaning out the art studio, dealing with the snow that we got yesterday and the day before. Of course, the Corona shit. I found out going to Whole Foods and Sprouts is pretty normal. A lot of the lower tier grocery stores and Walmarts and places that basically sell Mountain Dew are a lot more busy. So I had footage of that. It's all gone. All of it is corrupt. I don't have any fucking clue what happened. My camera just will not. Footage is black. I, I don't know. Somebody just decided to fuck your boy over. Yeah, there's a lot to address, I guess, but there's really not because there's so much noise on the internet about the coronavirus and the economy and the president, what to call the virus and listen and argue and fight. And I, I don't really want to contribute greatly. Like I, again, I'm still making my jokes. Am I worried about the virus? Not especially if I get sick, I will be staying at home. I don't have a choice anyway. I'm staying at home anyway, We're, or I'll stay at home. Personally, I will most likely not be going to the hospital unless I just can't breathe or something. You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't foresee any of that happening. I just don't, you know, call Call me uh, naive, call me ignorant, but I, I just, I'm not worried about that. What is scary mostly is people's reaction. People buying guns, ammo, ammo selling out, and food hoarding, and all of this uh, non-community type activity is a little terrifying because it shows us very clearly at the base of our human nature is we're goddamn savages. For the most part, don't care about others. I mean for the most part. I'm fortunate in the sense that I have a network of people that I know and a network of people that I communicate with and I can pretty much get anything I want. We're sold out of a lot of stuff here. They restock often, but I'm not trying to play the restock game where I have to go to the store and like wait. And I, I'm just not trying to do it. Um, so shout out to those people because it's been great. You know, my friend sent me some sanitizer. Uh, some other friends sent toilet paper. We got the bidet. I had footage of the bidet. We installed the bidet. That footage is gone. Yeah, and then today we were supposed to podcast but Dirty Earn has shifted his position completely on what he thinks about coronavirus. Last week, he was totally not afraid of it, was laughing, laughing, straight laughing in the face of corona. And he didn't care. He went to New York. He went to New York City. As soon as they called a pandemic, he went to visit his parents. His family wouldn't let them see the kids because they figured he was carrying a virus. And now he's come home. He's even quoted saying, I hope I get it. Fearless. He was fearless for like a few days. And now he's fully afraid. Now he's been going to the grocery stores and he's seeing a hundred people shopping and he's just afraid so he doesn't want to come to a podcast today but he says tomorrow morning is fine i don't know what is going to change over the next 24 hours or so but something apparently it's just a weird time and obviously it's weird for everybody a lot of people are either off of work going crazy because they want to make money and they're not used to this others are not off of work and are going crazy because they don't want to get a virus where everybody else is being told to stay home it's definitely a crazy time for us personally as many of you know i don't get paid on youtube at all i don't get paid I, the only way i make money is by selling clothing and tattooing those are the two ways that i make money or if i sell a painting here and there but uh it's really about selling art for me or clothing has been the uh, number one thing for the last few years. We're in a weird place because I know that a lot of people are not spending money. I know a lot of people are trying to figure out what's going to happen next before they go back to a normal life. This, I'm in a strange position where I have to decide to just stop doing business as usual or to just continue doing business as usual. And I really don't have a choice. You know, I really don't have too much of a choice as far as uh, like, I can't just stop the lion's share of earns income comes from the company scruff makes money from the company like this is a small business and i have to keep doing something i'm already going crazy the only reason i went down to the art studio yesterday because i was going crazy and i went and got all my stuff out of the art studio oh i tattooed alex yesterday that footage is gone everything's gone it's all gone blah 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 but anyway so we do have a drop coming it's actually a very timely drop i you know my timing is impeccable the who will save the world drop the mickey the mickey devil drop it's all on the it's all on the website right now as 
coming soon. It's most likely gonna drop next Saturday. I don't know what date that is. Yeah, the 28th. So it'll probably drop the 28th. That's a public drop. Friends and family already has access to it. Friends and family normally would have a lookbook by now, but we've delayed it a little bit because we're we're already hitting delays with our shipper. Printers are in New York. They can't work. So we're putting up the next lookbook that I reduced in size. I reduced it greatly in size. We're gonna put it up for a minimum of two weeks so that people who do want to still order can order. People whose lives are going on normal can go on normal. And I can just add some sense of normalcy into this. If we all just stop living our lives in every aspect, then we will become subjected to whatever we're told. You know, we'll, you'll you'll become very malleable. You know what I'm saying? I have to, I can't just let everything go. Like I can't spend my days, first couple of days, all I did was play Call of Duty and I didn't want to draw. I kind of felt like at the point I can't, what's the point of drawing? Like I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. And that I had to break in my own mind. I have to continue a somewhat normal life that doesn't affect anyone else. So obviously I'm not going out to bars or, well, they're closed, but I'm not going out anywhere, cooking at home. We go to the grocery store. You know, we try to go once a week. We're also home so much that we're eating through all the food that we normally buy groceries and then we go out to eat some too. And the groceries last a lot longer. That's not really the case anymore. Yeah, it's been crazy. And other than that, I really don't, there's nothing for me to really vlog. You know, it's a really weird thing because what, like, what could I possibly start vlogging? I am going to, I went and got all my art stuff. So I I'm gonna start just making art here. I'm gonna start and paint here and you know, at least stay productive and I'll obviously vlog that, but there's not a lot for me to go out and do. The only thing I can really offer is my opinion. And my opinion is that people should still stay calm. Obviously this is very, very weird in a lot of ways, virally, financially. There's a lot of shit on the internet that you could get into and argue about. You really probably shouldn't waste your time. I scroll through the internet and see opinions just so I have a, a temperature gauge on what the fuck people are thinking. And I think most people are crazy. Not to say that this isn't a real threat. It is a real threat to a lot of people. Personally, I think the financial fallout is more threatening, but what the fuck do I know? I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not none of that shit. I'm just a guy with an opinion. I understand that not everybody's going to be able to buy a shirt. I mean, fuck, even the people who keep asking me when the next drop is, when the next drop is, I'm surprised, you know? Like, I really am surprised and humbled by the support that people are going to continue to support in such an uncertain time. It's, it means the world to me, literally. And for those of you who normally support, who simply just cannot, I completely understand. Like, I, in these times things like shoes and shirts and shit like that is really not that important. I can totally understand that it not being a top priority. So anyone that makes it a priority to fuck with us still and that understands this is how we continue to do all this shit, um, forever grateful for that, for sure. But hopefully this will all blow over. We'll be able to get back to somewhat of a normal life. Um, obviously, I canceled San Francisco. I should have already been there by now. As you guys all already know, San Francisco, New York, LA, Illinois, it's like stay-at-home orders. So very obviously, I had to stay home for that. Hopefully in the next few weeks, months, whatever period of time, this will all even out and we'll be able to get back to something that we recognize as like a regular life. The internet is a crazy place to be. I'm sure a lot of you are sick of hearing about this shit, and I'm sorry. It's half the reason I haven't been vlogging lately is because there's not much for me to vlog. It doesn't just add to this. It doesn't really help, you know? It doesn't help people get over the hysteria. And even if there is a real threat, even if we're all gonna fucking die, it's still better to enjoy your last moments, right? I generally vlog what's going on. So we all know this is going on, so I don't really know what to do, or I haven't known what to do. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty. I think Call of Duty Warzone is like the best battle royale that's ever come out hands down so i've been on twitch a lot i probably should stream on youtube more but mostly just twitch real low key over there we just keep it chill and i just play games i'm also not amazing at the game at these games i don't win warzone it's hard to win we have a squad we can come in like top five but by myself terrible but you know it's fun it's fun to try and get good at something other than that i don't really know what to do with myself obviously giving up the studio because well now especially but that we were planning on trying to figure out how to move in june july i don't have any idea what's going to happen with that now i mean that's just that's like the furthest thing from my mind now that's like seems like a luxury you know like oh we get to move you know like now I don't know what the fuck to do. Stuck waiting to see what happens. Pretty crazy. It's a pretty crazy time. I've never, I've never experienced anything like this. I'm, uh, I am worried for other people who have really serious health conditions and I want to do my part in not helping spread it, not helping spread fear itself and not adding to the workload for the health system because I think the major, major thing that's going to cause super crazy panic and just overall bad shit to happen is a community being so 
entitled to think that we all need to go to the hospital at the same time because then, then it's going to get real serious. Then people are really going to start dying and not necessarily because they couldn't be cured, but because there's no one to take care of them. The system just can't handle it. I'm doing my best to stay healthy, stay the fuck away from people, getting plenty of sleep and trying to eat, you know, relatively healthy for someone who's stuck at home. It's hard. Then eating a couple of snacks because I'm bored. Other than that, I don't have much. I do have a little dirty urn footage. Like I said, uh, there's New York where he wasn't scared at all. No paranoia. Paranoia was at zero. Today, where he won't come over and do a podcast because he's really paranoid. I think that gap is six days. This footage here represents those six days. Well, day one of official quarantine. We are here. We're shipping out of the house. We're finishing a few things. We're gonna do a photo shoot with no model because we probably can't get one. And uh, that's about it. I will be checking in day to day. As of right now, we are fully stocked on coffee. We have no eggs. We've got filet mignon though. And um, here we got a little bit of food to last at least a week. Probably more like four days, so. I think we'll be good with the food though. This is the quarantine report. In home workout hour now. Doing the workout thing. We got the mat, we got the weights, we got the ball. We got Young Thug. I think tonight we're gonna do a little karaoke. Just me and Brandy. We'll check back in soon. Look at this with the socks. Please stay record. Yeah. We gotta stay fit in these times, of Corona folks. We gotta stay fit. Don't worry. Okay. This one I call mogul skiing. You pull in and then in and then in. Right? And oh. You're horrible. <laughs> Just cut this one. Oh, I can't. Oh, ow. Ooh. You can stay healthy. Oh, shortness of breath. Even in the corona zone. <clears throat> well, here I am. Um, keep it healthy, and then I'm going to cook a filet mignon and show you guys how, how it's done. A little dirtier in cooking show. Now, I'm cooking some food. Gonna make a salad and some filet mignon this evening. Here's my salad. Oh, yes. Store-bought and already mixed. Yep. That. I'm gonna cook that up real good and then we'll check back in with the results shortly. It's finished. Voila! All right, it's uh, morning time. I am headed to find some eggs. Remember back on Halloween's when we used to just throw eggs freely? Now. We can't even get eggs. Also gonna check on dispensaries, try and cop an ounce today and sit on that for a little while because they should make a bill that all weed places, if they're gonna make them shut down, should uh, should become delivery. Delivery should definitely be allowed in the weed game. Um, all right, we'll check in from uh, the first store we go to. We out here copping early, early, early. We did pretty good, I gotta tell you. Better than I thought we would have, so boom. 36 eggs, tons of toilet paper, a little bit of cereal, some dog food. Apocalypse day two. I don't know how long we'll be quarantined in our homes. About to roll up on Teddy, hit him with a toilet paper plug. Sometimes you wonder who the real hype beast is, but I'm out here, I'm out here copping that exclusive TP, that exclusive eggs. You know what though, see this is what it's all about, it's about sharing. Gotta share some with Teddy, so. I'm gonna I'm throw some toilet paper and eggs at him. It's just like Halloween all over. It's incredible. All right, I got text messages. I asked my friend for a death metal playlist for this occasion, and he said, uh, are you okay? You know, these are some dark times for people, so we gotta, we gotta watch what we're doing here. Fresh six pack, wow. I ain't even telling him about the eggs. You can see it in the vlog. I need these eggs, love these eggs. Six foot distance. This is as close as I'm getting. That's <laughs> You gotta go wash it. King Super is here, I'll tell you. That. We're out here keeping a distance. I got the plug. I got plugs all over the nation. I got it. it pays to be nice to people. You know yeah. What I'm I got Lysol. That's about it in the germ killing department. So hopefully my quarantine's over. We'll do a podcast soon. Yeah. You've been home how many days? Two. <laughs> Three. Yeah. I do have a cough, but it's just my normal weed cough that I that I have every day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, peace. That's, this is where we are. This is what it is. I'm gonna probably try to 
make a lot of art in the next few weeks. If we're just stuck at home, two weeks, 30 days, however long this shit lasts, I can just make something every day. You know, that'll help me feel more normal. And my main thing that I want to do during this is just try to keep some bit of normalcy. It's like walking dead or some shit, dog. If we don't keep some fabric of society intact, then everything is going to go crazy and everyone's going to turn into a goddamn savage. Personally, just I need to feel like there's some normalcy. So I'm just going to make art and probably what a lot of the content will be over the next however long. I mean, while we while we deal with this, I have I have no answers that you don't have. Anyone who thinks they have the answers is probably just been on the internet too long. I hope that everybody is okay. You know, I hope those of you that are high risk uh, dodge bullets left and right. I hope that anyone that does get infected, it passes quickly. I hope none of us experience personal loss through this other than a couple of paychecks here and there. And hopefully we all can recover from that. But it, it's scary. It's really scary to think like last week we're talking about moving, buying houses and shit. And this week it's like, uh, dog. What the fuck? Uh, who knows what's real? Who knows what's not real? I have no idea. All I know is I listen to people who are smarter than me, CDC, and people involved directly in the health field know more than I do. So I listened three weeks ago. People were worried about me being in Japan. And now the United States is uh, way worse off than Japan ever was. Way worse. I don't know about the numbers and shit, but I can tell you this much. The feeling, we n I never felt any of this type of hysteria in Japan. I don't know if that'll change. I don't know what they're going to do with the Olympics. But um, yeah, it's pretty crazy how fast all of this has changed. I really don't have much. <laughs> you know, I'm just telling you guys more of the same. I appreciate you guys. Hopefully we can dive into making more art and, you know, I can figure out something, you know, whatever. Even if I just make a painting every day for however many days, that's at least better than getting on here every day and just calling everybody stupid or telling everybody everybody's going to die, whatever, whatever. I mean, none of, none of it's really that constructive. I would urge you to do the same. Find something to do the constructive. Scrolling through your phone and reading what a lot of idiots have to say in the arguments over China versus here and the political bullshit and all, all of the static that surrounds all of this and the arguing, everyone thinking they're right. All of this is fear. Everyone blames somebody. Everybody's wanting to fucking find the solution. Everybody's got some fucking grand idea about what it all is and what it means and where it comes from. Is it 5G? Is there really a vibe? Like, there's so much shit. And what I would say is what I would say any other time, because there's a lot of shit always, is just focus on yourself as much as you can. Try to learn something new. Try to make stuff. Try to do something. Learn how to make beats. You want to start a vlog? Learn how to edit. Just find something else to dive into other than this because this is not going to help your mental. Reality, it's here. We're all taking precautions. Do what you got to do. If you're not on your phone for jokes and to have fun and kind of just like make make some sort of light out of it, you're probably going to end up going crazy. I'm sorry. You're just going to go crazy. Not telling you not to be informed. Please stay informed, but don't don't dive into the deep end, dog. It's some murky waters. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for support always. I have people who have even gotten us to this point. You know, if, if we all die tomorrow, I appreciate every single one of you. I don't think we're going to, for the record. It's been great having a community of people just to talk to during this. And hopefully I can bring you some sort of escape from it all. Even though that's all we're talking about. But uh, I do appreciate you guys. Even, even just people who watch the vlog and don't leave stupid comments about things like me going to the grocery store to buy one thing versus other people buying hundreds of things and trying to say that I'm the same. Or people who think that I lined up outside a grocery store in the last vlog. I did not. I got there when they opened. And I was calling people stupid for getting there before they opened. Which technically I think the people who got there before them who bought all the shit are really the stupid ones. Let's just to clear that up. Thank you. I appreciate you. The drop is Saturday. Most likely noon mountain time. Everything that is coming out is on the site. Lookbook that's coming for friends and family. Probably today honestly. Hopefully we'll be back to normal in two weeks or so but we do, you do have a minimum of two weeks to order i just wanted to put it out i didn't want to you know who knows if i stop putting stuff out then who knows when i'll ever be able to put shit out again like when will be a good time i don't know when there will ever be a good time so i'll be here i'll be checking in as much as possible and uh yeah sorry for the lack of content the last week it's just been a little crazy do appreciate you guys love you peace